Hey everybody, this is Jerry. Uh, for those who don't know anything about me, let me first tell you that I've been on Sublocade for approximately about six months now. Uh, I've taken two 300 milligrams and I've taken, uh, the rest are 100 milligrams after that. Uh, so let's see, about six, six months altogether. So let me just kind of give you an idea about Sublocade, okay? Now, when I first took Sublocade the first month, uh, you know, I was a little concerned because I thought, well, I'm going to feel sick or have withdrawals. I mean, that's your biggest fear is the creepiness of a withdrawal because nobody wants withdrawals. You do not want them. Uh, anybody that's out there that has never gone through withdrawals, you don't know what it is. I'm telling you, you know, you just can't experience it. You don't know what it is. You won't know. Uh, it's, it feels like death altogether. And I wouldn't even w wish withdrawals on my worst enemy. It's that bad. But with that said, the Sublocade is basically buprenorphine. Okay, it's what's in Suboxone. Suboxone is the oral form. It's a pill you take by mouth. It goes under the tongue usually, and it usually has buprenorphine, and it also has naloxone. Naloxone is the basic, what it is, it's Narcan. Uh, it's something in there that blocks uh, the opioids from getting in your system. In other words, so if you're on Suboxone, and you take heroin while on Suboxone, well, the naloxone part of it will block that. Uh, it blocks the fentanyl and all those other nasty drugs that are out there. Um, again, I am a patient. I'm not a doctor, so please, whatever I tell you is not medical advice. It's just from my own experiences. Um, so I just want you guys to know that. But um, anyway, so when I first took Suboxone, I, the first week, I was a little tired. I felt good, though. I felt really good. Uh, I thought, man, I'm going to have withdrawals. No, I didn't have any withdrawals. I just felt tired. Then the second week popped up, and I was feeling a little bit tired still. No withdrawals. And then on the third week, I started to have a little bit of feeling like a little bit of like, ooh, I'm going to have withdrawals, but it was all psychosomatic because you're so used to taking a pill. And that is part of the addiction process, right? Because what do we do? We take a pill, we take a pill, we take a pill. So you have to break that psychological part of taking a pill to help you to get better. And if you are mentally strong enough for this, then try it, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, but talk to your family doctor, talk to your, uh, your medical provider who is doing your treatment programs, your therapist, and just talk to all of them. But uh, let me just go back through what I was saying. So anyway, I, so I started out with Subox Suboxone and I was on it for a year. And then I thought, well, I want to try to just get off of it and just, I want to get off of all this stuff. I want to be normal and not take a pill because I kept feeling like it was either taking like, you know, the drug of choice or taking the, the medicine that was helping you to get off the stuff. And I thought, what do you do, right? What do you do? You're like in a cat and mouse game here. So I wanted to try something different, so I tried the Subox uh, Sublocade, and I read about it. I was really terrified because I thought, man, I don't want to have withdrawals. I don't want to feel sick. I don't want to. I heard it's very painful um, So because they give you a shot in the stomach area. And uh, But anyway... You know, I was freaking out, and I did what everybody else does. I read the internet. I looked for YouTube videos. I was all over the map here, but I couldn't find anything about it. Uh, anything that would help me to, to make a choice. So, with that said, I ended up... 
contemplating it. I mean, I was bouncing back and forth really bad about wanting to do this. And I kept thinking, do I really want to have uh, have this shot, man? Or is it, you know, is it going to cause problems? Because, you know, I can't, I can't afford, you know, to miss work and, you know, afford for this to make me sick or put myself or my family through this. So, you know, I made, I made a lot of uh, decisions here, but this was the hardest one. And the fear factor that if I take this, then I'm going to be off of Suboxone. And I like the idea of taking a pill, you know, because it's so cool. That's how you feel. You know, you feel like, oh, I can take a pill and it makes me feel good. So, you know, that's what, that's what my idea was. That's what was in my mind. I'm not saying you're all's mind. I'm saying my mind. Again, I'm telling you my story. And so I thought, no, I got to get off of it totally. So I, I did the shot uh, six months ago. And uh, like I said, I have a little bit of up and down for a minute. It wasn't bad. It was nothing severe. Nothing really worried about. But I will tell you, I'm glad I made the decision because I feel so much better. Uh, as soon as I got the shot, I ain't gonna lie, I felt 100% better. Not at any time did I feel like I was coming down off of Suboxone or sub Sublocate or Buprenorphine. It was always keeping a level in my body. And like the Suboxone, when I would take it in the daytime, you know, by the mid-afternoon, evening, I started feeling a little funky because the medicine was wearing off. Uh, but with Sublocade, it just keeps that level going continuously. And that way you don't have the yo-yo effect and feel like you're like, you know, up, down, up, down. Uh, so it just, you know, it makes you feel so much better. It really does. And like I said, they gave me the 300 milligram shot. And then I went back in the next month and another 300 milligrams. And I felt really good with the, the second 300 milligrams. As a matter of fact, the second 300 milligram shot was better because my body was really leveling out at that moment in time. And then I went from that to um, the 100 milligram shot. Now again, Mind you, when they said, we're going to reduce your meds to 100 milligrams, I thought again, oh no, oh no, I'm panicking because they're reducing my medication. But I can't tell the difference. I feel the same as when I took the 300 milligrams. Um, I have, every once in a while I get a little tired, but I'm not, it's not bad for me. I, I think I feel really good. I feel... Like right now, I just got my 100 milligram shot. I do I do not feel any withdrawals, zero. As a matter of fact, here's how cool it is. If I was on Suboxone and I was down to my last pill and uh, they told me, oh, you have to go a week without getting your meds, what would you feel like? How would you feel? Seriously, how would you feel? If you would feel like I would feel, I'd be like, oh God, what do I do? There's no way I'm going to be able to get my medication. There's no way I'm going to get my my uh, uh, my Suboxone. I'm going to start going through withdrawals. Oh, no, what do I do? And then you start thinking of plan B, plan C, plan D, and on and on and on. But with this Sublocade shot, what's really cool is, is that I got the shot, and then they said, oh, we accidentally forgot, we, we missed your your uh, shot, didn't come in, so I had to wait a week. Um, and I went a week without having to worry about taking another shot. I had no withdrawals, I wasn't worried about it. It was still releasing medication in my system, and it got me to the point of when I got my shot today. So. If I was on Suboxone, I would not have made it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. So I just, you know, you just wouldn't have made it. And so you start having withdrawals. You're like, oh no. Um, but that's exactly what I was feeling. And you know, that's why the whole point of it is, is that you know, you got to get yourself on a a, a regimen. You want to 
You want to get better, right? And that's what our, our objective is, to feel better. <clears throat> but, but yeah, man, I could go. I went a week. I actually went a week without having uh, to missing my shot. I didn't get my shot. You're supposed to get it every 26 days. Every 26 days. So I missed it. I had to, I had to wait a week. Um, and again, like I said, it, it didn't bother me. I didn't have no withdrawals. I didn't have nothing happen to me. But again, if you were on Suboxone, if I was on Suboxone, I would have probably been going through some crazy, um, feel, I probably would have relapsed because I've been like, oh man, what do I do? So I am so grateful uh, for having made this decision to do Subox, uh, Sublicade. Um, again, Sublicade is a great uh, medication. It will release. Uh, it's time released. It works for one whole month. You don't have to come weekly. You can do it for a month. Um, but I am so glad I did it uh, because if it wasn't for that medication, I don't know what I would have done in my life. I mean, you know, I, I, I was tired of, of, of the pill mill, the pill routine, taking pills and, you know, and what got me started was I injured my back. Like I told you in the first, one of these first videos, I injured my back. And when I injured my back, I ended up having to be put on like pain medication. <laughs> And I went from one pain medication to the next pain medication to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And eventually I was on it for over 30 years on Percocet and Vicodin. Um, you know, back and forth. Sometimes it would get severe and I'd have to go to the hospital and get a shot of Dilaudid or morphine or, you know, one of those. Um, but... You just get tired of having to jump through the hoops and you know deep down that you're having a lot of problems. You know deep down that you wish you could change your life because it's deep down inside and you feel like, well, maybe there's no way to returning back to where I was. Uh, the life I used to have but there is and there is a way to change your life and that is to get research or re uh, go to rehab uh, get treatment programs um, go to a therapist go to medical counseling uh, medication assistant treatment programs uh, I go to a company called Brightview Brightview to me is probably the best company out there. They really, truly do care uh, for people in general. They really do. So, and I know that I know that Brightview is international, or yeah, I know it's international throughout the United States, um, also in other countries as well. But if you ever have a chance, look them up. If you want to get some real, true help, go to them. And you know, all their programs are outpatient programs, so. But uh, again, going back to what I was saying, if you are contemplating on the sublocade shot, the only thing I can tell you is, is that in your mind, and it's part of the addiction mind, really, I think it is. I, I do. I feel like it is. A part of your addiction mind says, no, I don't want to get off the suboxone because it's a pill. It's the pill. I get to take a, a pill. Some people want to take control of that. And some people want to abuse it. Some people want to take more of it, you know. So, you know, you never know. You want to, you know, people do this stuff, right? Um, don't feel bad because we all have been through this process. But the point of it is, is to get away from it and to get yourself off of these drugs altogether. And so the best I option I feel like is sublocate. 
uh, Vivitrol, I heard it is a bad, it doesn't work as good. To each his own, I have no clue, I never used it. Uh, never tried it, Vivitol, whatever it's called. But I do know about Sublocate and it's buprenorphine. So it's strict buprenorphine. It's exactly Suboxone without the Naloxone. And it's time released in your system. So you never have to worry about missing a dose. You never have to worry about the dose not getting properly in your system. Um, that's another problem I was having. I, I hate dissolving stuff underneath my tongue. And so the Suboxone would not dissolve properly. So I wasn't getting the full dosage of what I was supposed to be getting. And now I'm getting 100% the full dosage, which makes me feel even more better. Uh, you know, because I wasn't getting the full dosage anyway. But again, try it out. That's my recommendation to you. I'm not trying to twist your hand. If you want to make a difference in your life, you want to try to change it, try the sublocate shot. I promise you, you will be happy that you did. And once you get past that fear factor of sublocate, uh, you know, don't, don't let, don't let the addiction, uh, demons try to keep you from moving forward is what I'm trying to say. Uh, because they'll try to keep you going backwards and, and trying to keep taking pills and everything else. I'm not saying that's bad to do that, but I'm saying is, and for some people, sub, sub, suboxone is the only way, you know, taking a pill is going to help them get better. And that's understandable. But what I'm saying is, in some aspects, uh, a pill is part of the addiction. It really is. Taking something by mouth, the uh, repetitious taking it, just like smoking. I'm a smoker, you know. It's repetitious. So... But the only thing I can say is just, you know, what, try it out. If you don't like it, ask, talk to your health provider. I'm sure he or she will put you back on Suboxone if it doesn't work. I know mine told me that she would, but I never had to go back. I never had to go back, and I thank God for that. Because it truly is a blessing. It truly is a blessing. And I know some people that's been on Sublocade where they've been on there for a few months now. And then they say, I just stopped taking it all together and don't even get another shot. And now I'm feeling better. Never had to go get another shot. And I'm still feeling good. So, you know, again, the only thing I can tell everybody is, is uh, again, it's to each his own. Try what you want to with it. Try to see if it works for you. If it doesn't, then go with, uh, you know, other options. I have heard that some people can also take Sublocade. And if you're having some issues, they can still give you Suboxone with Sublocade. Um, I'm not too for sure about that, but you can check with your, your, your uh, doctor, uh, your medical doctors, your therapist, and so forth. But... This is my sixth month on sub Sublocade, and I just wanted to give everybody an update. I'm doing really good. I feel exceptionally well. I feel like I did when I first took it. Uh, I feel like there's no withdrawals. I feel like I'm normal. Um, I feel like I did when I before I started taking uh, drugs, the drugs in general. I feel normal again, and that's the only thing I can say. You know, I am a recovering addict, and I am proud to be here to tell you that there is an option that can help you. And if you want to try it, go to your health care provider and talk to them today. Thank you, guys. I will come back in, and I will give you guys updates on what's happening, okay? Again, you can uh, hit my follow button. Please share my videos with other people that are going through addiction. I mean, I think it, if you can share these this information and teach others, please do. You know, um, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Make sure you always hit like on there for me. I would love to, to, to have this exposed to all kinds of people to help them to get off of drugs. That's the goal. So have a wonderful, blessed day, and remember that always 
always, always, God loves you. No matter what you are going through, if you turn to him and beg him, just go to him and say, I need help, he will turn to you and help you. He's always there and he's waiting for you. So have a wonderful, blessed day. Stay strong with your recovery process. It only gets better. Have a good one, guys.